So when we talk about people being focused on the technical or people daring to think of the emotions, it reminds one that most of city making is really about hardware. If you ask who makes a city, someone will probably say architects make the city. That is what I call the urban engineering approach to city making, which is essentially focusing on engineering problems and technical problems. The soft is saying, is linking in how do people relate to the physical? Because of course human beings relate to the physical surroundings they're in, whether it's nature or a city, which is usually not nature, apart from the parks. So the soft is really all of that stuff that is actually how human life exists, how we interact, how we relate, how we listen, how we talk and so on, how we feel, experience. Now it's absolutely astonishing since the primary drivers of human existence is all of that, that that is completely excluded in city making. So slightly exaggerating for effect, but in broad terms it is. There are no people who understand about environmental psychology. All of these disciplines, rich disciplines and rich understanding we have about the effect of environments on our health and so on. And that's one of the reasons, if you check it out, that indices of happiness and well-being and all of that are far lower than they should be, given the wealth that has been created and how much wealthier we are. Our happiness has not increased. Indeed, our depression rates and all of that, I mean, there's a lot of work on that, ha has increased. I'm saying, let's look at the city as a sensory experience, because that is the primary essence of who we are as human beings might sound a bit abstract, but I think it's very true. And that doesn't mean that I feel we should wallow in emotions or anything, but just note them, understand the effect, and respond when you're doing your hardware. So that's the difference between the urban engineering approach to city making to what I call creative city making.